Hello, welcome to another Riding Times on Revelator Alpha. Please subscribe and hit the notifications button. So, uh, basically, I'm going to start out on the Cotswold run today. So, I'm going to go through the heart of the Cotswolds, uh, just showing you a few places, um, quintessential places as well. Um, so, I'm going to go through some towns, some villages, and the open road as well. Uh, what I'll do, I'll uh, chop the sound down and then uh, speed it up a little bit in between the places so, um, you know, you'll have a, a, a better time. And every time I see there's something uh, uh, a little bit more interesting, then I'll just uh, bring the uh, the commentary back in. Hope you enjoy it. So we're going to head up from here, uh, from Lambourne area in West Berkshire. Going to go all the way through North Wiltshire, uh, Oxfordshire, a bit of Gloucestershire, and then into Worcestershire. Uh, area and then uh, basically end up in an area called Broadway which is your, your quintessential sort of Cotswold town as well. Okay, catch you. Well it's summer itself and the moon is... Wow! What a great ride so far. So basically just uh, come out of Highworth and uh, heading up to another area well, called Lechlade now. Um, and this is very close to um, Fairford, not too far away where they have the International Air Tattoo every year. It's a big air show basically. Um, uh, but then we're basically coming into uh, Lechlade and then we're going to go towards Burford area as well. Just about to cross over the River Thames. The Thames obviously goes, uh, ends up and uh, in London, <coughs> the London estuary, uh, Thames estuary there, but obviously it starts all the way back here in sort of, now I think it's o somewhere in Oxfordshire or um, Gloucestershire is actually the source of the Thames, uh, but anyway, so. This is Lech Lake. <clears throat> I mean, the thing is, if you're ever travelling in this area, or if you're coming from abroad, you say, you know, I want that Cotswold experience. There isn't one place that you could say, okay, you have to go to this place this town or this village because you'll have the same kind of experience in all of them they're all nice you know they're all quaint either villages or small towns um, you know they have that kind of Cotswold look about them um, I wouldn't say they're not commercialized but they're not that you don't tend to have the big the branded you know, multinational stores here or whatever, you know, the high street stores, you know, in the larger towns you would, but you know, in the smaller places you don't. So it's, it looks nicer, it feels nicer, and you come at a quiet period, it's just a mo really relaxing uh, place to be, you know. So, I mean, this is why so many people, you know, dream of, you know, coming to live in the Cotswold, because it's just a lovely place to live. Unfortunately, there's a price tag with that now as well, so, you know. Anyway, so, uh, leaving Lechlade now. Uh, Lechlade on Thames. And, uh, on to the next bit then. But when it's summer and sad Then we go through many changes When it's summer and sad then all I really know is that I truly am In the summer inside am In the summer inside am In the summer inside am Okay, so uh, we're heading into um, another area called Burford. Uh, so 
This is uh, the main road here, left and right, and it goes to the left, to the west, it will go to uh, Cheltenham, and uh, it's a sort of famous, very famous part of the uh, UK, and to the right it will head towards Oxford, so Oxford is a, you know, right smack bang in the middle of the Cotswolds, I suppose, as well. So here, this is uh, Burford, and it's on a bit of a hill. Um, but you know, as you can see, coming through now, lovely old buildings, um, and your lovely old Cotswold stone, beautiful place. And these are very much more market villages, market towns as well. Um, but over the years, you know, they have had a few more little chain stores and coffee shops, you know, uh, come through and set up business. Um, but mostly, they still are independent shops, really. Funny enough, a few years ago, I was called here, I was doing a bit of filming down here with a film crew. And uh, just so happened, we were stood outside, I think it was like a deli shop or a cheese shop. Actually, I think it's that one there. No, yeah, something like that. It was one of these places. And um, the owners came out and said, oh yeah, you know, you know, so you, you know they saw we got the camera crew. And said, oh yeah, you know, you've got the camera crew. And we explained what we were doing. And they said, yeah, we've just been on a TV program as ourselves. They just finished filming. So, <laughs> you know, we ended up swapping stories about uh, film crews and the trials and tribulations of uh, filming a program. But, um, yeah, I think they were... Um, it was some kind of a deli, or it was a cheese shop or something, and it was like one of these, um, I wouldn't say a business program, but you know when like a business person goes into a shop and they say, right, okay, how can we improve your business? It was one of those kind of things. I'm pretty sure it was. Unfortunately, they did tell us when it was going to be on, but I never, I, I must have missed it, so. Anyway, so if, you, if, if you're watching this, and you know of a program about some cheese sellers, uh, in Burford, in the Cotswolds, uh, go and check it out. <laughs> right, okay, so leaving Burford now. Out of the bridge. And so the next place we're going to be heading towards is Stowe, Stowe on the Wold. So, catch you then. Okay, so we're, uh, I'm heading into Stow on the Wold right now, so an, again, another very uh, quintessential co uh, Cotswold area. This is very close to another little small town called Borton on the Water. Um, so if you're in the area, check that out as well. Um, you know, very simple, you know, it's all, it's all Cotswold, but it's, uh, it's got a lovely little, very shallow stream river running through it. Um, there's a model village, there's, I think there used to be a motor museum there as well, a very small one, but it's, uh, you know, it's cool. It's just a lovely little place, to, you know, to head towards. Um, it's more of a tourist attraction than uh, Stone the Wold would be, let's say. So if you want to get like a tourist place, Borton on the water, just you know to experience something, uh, stay on the wall. That's what you want. So anyway, just gone through uh, stay on the. It, that's pretty much we're skirting on the edge of it. Um, the main centre is uh, through the uh, through the uh, through the centre there uh, on the right hand side. Okay, so now we're going to be heading towards a place called uh, Evesham. Uh, and Broadway. 
for Evesham and Broadway. So pretty much coming to the edge, the other edge of uh, of the Cotswolds. So we've I've pretty much ridden from the southwestern edge, and I'll be riding to the northeastern edge ish um, of the Cotswolds area, and then. Correction, no, that's not right, is it? The southwestern to the northwestern edge of the um, the Cotswolds area, ish, and there the Cotswolds then goes all the way east into Oxfordshire, North Oxfordshire, that kind of thing. Um, so it is, so it is quite a big area. Okay, so just uh, about to approach uh, Broadway, uh, coming down just past the Broadway Tower, which is on top of the hill here, and uh, just about to ride down uh, Fish Hill, uh, which is a bit of a snaking road uh, coming off the hillside, uh, which is a cool ride actually. And then right at the bottom, um, after a long straight, we're going to turn into Broadway. So. Uh, this is quite a, a popular route. Uh, so kind of the story behind it is that they, um, many years ago, about 20, 20 or so years ago, uh, the main road, this road, actually went through the small town of Broadway. But it was really congestion, it was right pain. But, you know, it had, uh, you know, lots of passing traffic through it. Then they decided to build this bypass. So this bypass cut out all the traffic into Broadway and you can't even access Broadway from this end you have to go all the way down to the bottom to access it so if I just come and show you now this little cutting here this used to be that used to be the road into Broadway itself um, so anyway to keep this going I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here and then going to double back into, uh, into Broadway itself. So I don't often come down this way. I was actually filming here a few weeks ago uh, when I went down to the Broadway Tower uh, for one of the Bikers Travelogue series. Um, but uh, I, I missed out uh, Broadway, so I always had it in mind to do a Cotswold ride and I thought this would be a great place just to end that ride, you know. So anyway, gonna come to the bottom here, this roundabout, gonna make a left and take it into Broadway Central. Now, I haven't actually been to Broadway, it must be, it must be 25 years, it's got to be, 25, 30 years. Um, possibly just before they built the bypass um, whenever that was but I remember I was a I was a teenager I think you know or late teenager uh, so I came in here and I never forget I don't know why these things stick in your mind but there was a, a cafe right on the corner and um, it was a cafe car you know souvenir shop as these tourist places always seem to have but I ended up putting salt instead of sugar in my tea and uh, I took one uh, swig of it, one sip of it, and I splurted it all over the place. So embarrassing myself uh, in front of all these well-to-do people, which was obviously very nice. So I had to quickly excuse myself and then 
wash my mouth out with <laughs> lots of water and then uh, have another go with another cup too. Uh, yeah, and typically they didn't give me a free one, they uh, just had to charge, had to pay for another one, which is the right daft thing to do. But anyway, so um, yeah, you can see here just uh, right in here. It's been so long since I've been here that I just uh, I really can't remember it at all. There we go. Now it's a great place to come and visit, come and you know, walk around. And uh, you know you do get a certain uh, time. Let's have a look here. Uh, if I go left, let's see where it takes me. It could be right that I need to go actually. Wow, look at all this up here then. So this is basically the top end of the uh, the town, and this is heading to up towards the bypass area where they would have shut off the road. You see, you know, it's a lovely, you know, chocolate box, you know, houses, lovely little, lovely area, lovely old, uh, old pubs. Uh, oh, it's beautiful, look at it, really is nice. coming up the hill here. So this at the top here, this would have been the, the old route up to, um, you know, Oxford. Maybe this is the old Oxford Road. And then that's obviously the, uh, the dead end. So dead end except cycles. So that would take you all the way to the top there. Okay. Head back down. And we're coming into the... Now, I'm assuming that it's still a bustling little place. Um, you know, with sort of shops and... And um, souvenir shops and cafes. I could be completely mistaken. Um, and this is what happens, you know, when you build a bypass. You stop that passing trade, you pass that passing traffic. You know, so you cure one problem, but you generate another problem. And so there's nobody actually comes here anymore. And, uh, you know, it almost sort of withers away, the, um, the business sort of withers away a little bit. You know, it's like, get off the highway, get off the highway, you know, Doc Hollywood, uh, get off the highway and see what's there, uh, see what's about, you know. Um, but this is exactly it, you know, you have a, it's a new route and it, you know, totally cuts out this, which is, makes it a nicer experience. But not necessarily, I suppose, if you're trying to run a business, especially a souvenir shop, you know. But you want lots of passing traffic. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, and there's still there's still little bits and pieces here, but you know, no way near, no way near what it used to be. On this, you know, you can imagine 30 or 40 years ago, this was just chock a block with cars either side. You know, all the pavement was just full of people. I mean, it's I know it's a Monday morning. But still, uh, it's still lovely. It's still going on. I'm gonna go. Yeah, very nice. So now, so it used to come in via this route here. This used to take us in. Okay, so the cafe was the one on the left-hand side. I think that could be it there, actually. Wow, 
Well, so we're coming out abroad right now. Well, I hope you, uh, hope you all enjoyed that. And um, so I'll catch you on the next uh, riding times, uh, whenever that might be, uh, whatever route it takes me. Uh, so there's uh, the Cotswolds for you, or, or part of the Cotswolds. It's a really big area, uh, lots of places to see, and every town, every village is, quite frankly, it's just as nice as the other as the other ones. Uh, but you know, if you're ever in the area, if you're ever in this country, come and check it out. Cheers.